Are you a talented developer looking to expand your career by becoming a freelance machine learning developer? Well, you're in the right place. In today's video, I'll provide a comprehensive 30-day roadmap for kickstarting your freelancing journey in machine learning. We'll cover essential skills, resources, and how to develop laser-focused approach that ensures a steady flow of clients for your freelancing career and later your agency. If you're excited to get started, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Now, without further ado, let's dive right into it. So the first week, day one to seven, we're gonna focus on establishing your machine learning foundations. We're gonna learn Python for machine learning. Since you're an experienced developer, learning Python shouldn't be daunting. Familiarize yourself with the language and its various libraries for machine learning, TensorFlow, PyTorch, Keras are great choices for deep learning models. Then we're gonna focus on databases for machine learning. As a machine learning developer, you'll often be handling vast amounts of data. So you need to strengthen your knowledge on databases, SQL, NoSQL, and so on. Basically, you'll be working on data manipulation tasks. Uh, probably you already know this if you're an experienced developer, but just in case you might wanna brush up on the ones that I mentioned above and maybe some more. Then we're gonna focus on web services and APIs. Basically, you need to learn how to use web services and APIs in your machine learning projects, allowing for a seamless integration of machine learning with client applications. Then the second week, day eight to 15, we're gonna enhance your machine learning skills. We're gonna dive into machine learning concepts. Then we're gonna develop an understanding of essential machine learning concepts like supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. We're gonna master several frequently used algorithms such as linear regression, k-means clustering, and neural networks. The next step is hands-on with machine learning libraries. You need to familiarize yourself with the different machine learning libraries in Python that you'll be using regularly, such as scikit-learn and xgboost. Then we're gonna dive into natural language processing. If you're interested in processing and analyzing text data, explore the domain of NLP, learn popular techniques such as tokenization, stemming, and sentiment analysis. So the week after that would be day 16 to 21. We're gonna be building your machine learning portfolio. We're gonna develop projects. You're gonna choose four to five projects showcasing your experience in various machine learning domains, such as image recognition, sentiment analysis, or fraud detection. Given your development background, you might wanna focus on building projects with real world applications, something you're already somewhat familiar with. We're just basically adding on machine learning. Then we need to enhance your portfolio presentation. Basically, you're gonna make your portfolio visually appealing and you know written in human language, and also it needs to be easy to navigate. Basically, you need to include detailed descriptions of projects and technology stacks used and links to live demos. You need to also link to your GitHub repositories, if applicable, or case studies in general. Basically, you need to demonstrate problem-solving ability in whatever problems you're gonna be solving as a freelancer. It's not just about the tech, it's about the business problems that are being solved. Day 22 to 30, we're gonna be focusing on lead generation. So even though it's already just your fourth week, we're already be gonna be doing lead generation. You're gonna build out your freelancing profile. You create freelancing profiles on platforms such as Upwork and Fiverr that showcase your newly acquired machine learning skills, highlight your experience, project and areas of expertise to attract potential clients. By the way, there's a video in the description that focuses on how exactly to write your profile so that you stand out. If you do the same thing that everyone else is doing, use it as a resume, it doesn't really work that well. The next up, you need to be selective and targeted with regards to your projects that you choose. So you need to focus on high value complex tasks that not only pay well, but also challenge your machine learning development skills. Basically, you need to work with real companies that make real money and that have real projects that are gonna have a future. If you work on a bunch of projects that fail, it's not really good for your future portfolio. You're not gonna be able to show that you've done stuff that works. Then we're gonna craft tailored proposals. So when bidding on projects, ensure your proposals are highly customized to the specific needs of each client. Again, there's a video in the description that shows you how to do that. And uh, you basically need to take the time to understand their business goals and explain your machine learning expertise and how it can address their challenges in business. So you need to really talk to humans and understand what they're saying. And these humans are not developers. <laughs> then you're basically gonna get your first few clients and you're gonna work on consistent project delivery. As you secure freelance machine learning projects, it's essential to maintain a high level of consistency in delivering quality work promptly. So basically you say no to a bunch of new projects whenever you're overwhelmed. And this will help you build a strong reputation in the field, leading to more clients and a steady stream of projects. Then you can, of course, after that, progress to building an agency. Again, I have a separate video on that because it's a separate topic. Then it's time to iterate, track, and adjust progress. 
Basically, you regularly review and evaluate your progress in the first 30 days and analyze your project successes, areas for improvement, and any gaps in your skill set. Make adjustments as needed to ensure your freelance machine learning development career is moving forward and you can actually build a business, hire people, and scale. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck in delivery hell, meaning you work on a project, you deliver, and then you get a new project because you can't get projects while you're working on a previous project and on and on it goes, you'll never really make headway. So you need to build a team and build a business eventually, otherwise you get stuck. So transforming into a freelance machine learning developer in just 30 days can be very challenging, but armed with an effective plan for utilizing your existing development expertise and experience, you can thrive in this exciting new field because there's a lot of people wanting to do a lot of machine learning projects. By establishing a solid foundation, showcasing your expertise and adopting a targeted approach, you'll find yourself on the path to a successful and fulfilling journey, not just as a career, but also in business. If you found this video helpful, please remember to hit the like button, drop a comment on your thoughts or questions, and subscribe for more engaging content. Hit the notification bell to ensure you that you don't miss future uploads. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Click on the next video in the description to learn more about how to become a freelancer and exact steps for lead generation.